Hi, this is Jason with Violetter Games, coming at you with another game review. This time we're taking a look at the Pokemon Mega Tyranitar EX Holo Card from the Ancient Origins Expansion for the Pokemon Trading Card Game. So the first thing we're going to do is take a close look at the card. Alright, so taking a look at this card, so this is obviously for the Pokemon trading card game, this is from the Ancient Origins expansion, and this is the Mega Tyranitar EX, so to evolve this guy you have to have the Tyranitar EX, but card looks beautiful, there are two versions of this card, this is the, the regular, this is not the full art, there is a full art version, but I actually like the way this one looks, but really nice, so on the top it says Mega Tyranitar EX, gives you his HP of 240, he's only got one attack, and then it just gives you the basic stuff it gives you on, on normal cards, the weakness, resistance, retreat cost, and it also gives you the set symbol, which we'll go into a little bit of detail. But the one thing I did find a little bit different with this card is it actually says, um, it says double, it says this Pokemon may have up to two Pokemon uh, tool cards attached to it. And not all Megas are like that. So I, as far as Megas, this is definitely something a little extra for this guy. You don't see at the top, so... So it's the Mega, like I said, and it has, it's hard to see in the goal, but it says Evolves from Tyranitar EX. And then there's a little double thing where you can add two, two uh, tool cards on it. It's got HP of 240, which is extremely high, but for a Mega, you know, that is normal. They are really high. I mean, they're definitely hard to knock out, but, you know, really nice. You can see the, the image of Tyranitar on there, so it looks really nice. Really nice holographic look to it, that foil look to it. You can see in the card you have the one standard rule, the Mega Evolution rule. When one of your Pokemon becomes a Mega Evolution, your Pokemon turn ends. Unless you have a card to stop that. It's pretty standard. They just put this on every Mega card, but it's always sometimes in a little bit different location. Most of the time it's towards the bottom. You see his one attack, so he uh, needs two Darkness Energies and then two Double, or you know, two Colorless Energies. And it's Destroyer King for 110 plus damage. This attack does 60 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So that is pretty nasty. So, you know, you do 110 automatically, but if the guy has, you know, two, you know, 20 damage on him already, the two damage counters, you're looking at an additional 120. So, I mean, if they're damaged, this guy is really good to put in and just knock Pokemon out. I mean, he's definitely got, you know, one hit KOs available for him. I mean, he's got that one attack, but I mean, he's definitely really, really nice, um, you know, he needs the two uh, darkness energies. You know, some of the other Mega Pokemons only need one of their type of energy, and then the rest are colorless. But not too bad on this guy. Like I said, this is a super powerful attack. And, you know, four is not too bad to charge somebody up. I mean, some of the newer EX uh, or Mega Pokemon require five energies. So this is not too bad of an energy cost for something that could do this, especially to an injured Pokemon. And then he has a weakness to fighting Pokemon, so, you know, double the damage. He gets attacked for 60, but, it's, you know, from a fighting Pokemon, it's, it's 120. 20 resistance to uh, the Psychic Energy, and his retreat cost is super hefty at 4. I mean, that's pretty bad. So, I mean, you, you, you're going to pay the price to pull him out, or you're going to have to use some kind of card or some kind of uh, special uh, uh, ability to pull him back out. And then if we go over to the other side, you know, the Pokemon EX rule says, when a Pokemon EX has been knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards. Really standard in the Pokemon uh, TCG, but I mean, just if you didn't know that, that's one of the things, you know, you have to worry about when you put a, an EX or a, a Mega EX. And you can see he's number 43 out of 98 in the set for Ancient Origins, and that's the Ancient Origins set symbol right there. And then take a look in the back of the card. It is just a standard Pokemon card. There's nothing different. It's pretty much the same type of card you'll get, you know, in, in, the, in the U.S., but not too bad. But really nice looking card. As we take a look at the front, I mean, the art is really, really nice. There is a full art version of this. I actually like this better than the full art. Um, some people would probably disagree with me, but I mean, it's a really nice card. And the camera never does it justice when it comes to the, uh, the look of these holographic or foil cards. I mean, it just looks absolutely top notch. Um, so, I mean, he, you know, he looks great. The card looks great. The attack is extraordinary. You know, four energies for 110 plus and for every damage counter on your and the 
opposing Pokemon, you're going to hit for an extra 60. I mean, that's that's one hit KO ability, which is really nice for this guy. But you do have to evolve them. So, I mean, you definitely, you know, these cards run about 8 or $9 on the internet. So, I mean, if you want to play the actual card game, you're looking at, you know, getting typically about two to three in your card set, plus at least three, three to four of the regular Tyrantar EXs. So it's definitely expensive to get these guys in there. But, I mean, this guy hits for some serious, serious damage and a really fantastic card. Once again, this has been Jason with Violator Games. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and I'll see you guys next time.